Hand. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't matter who started, unless um, you guys want to watch that. <laughs> Alright, let's call him Android. <laughs> Hi there. So <laughs> everything is going quite well from my impression. I'm surprised. Uh, yeah, it's been re relatively okay, I suppose. Only half hour late starting. Right, that's pause the music. So half game starting. Uh, most of them have yeah. Most of them, yeah. I don't. Know. I just created a poll to um <coughs> to see who we should. Cast, and I didn't cast forever. I have no idea what I'm doing, and um, uh, I've uh, cast him, so this yeah. is so early. So I just uh, came home from shopping. I wanted to cook, and now I decided not to cook the stream with Tony. So I'm really hungry. I just ate a little bit of bread, but um, okay. So C is having four votes. I guess that's. Mm. That's enough, I will wait one more minute or something. So matchup C is Blodian, I believe, yeah. And um oh how how are we going to do that? Uh just join after it starts. Yeah, the left replay, but how do we sync it? Hope <laughs> <laughs> uh, I could screen share I guess. Uh yeah that and you can try it but the problem is I'm streaming, so that can uh, that that might be. Uh, let's try it. Um, or we could just like pause it at five seconds or something, and then press play at the same time. Yeah, let's try screen sharing, and you can just um, see and so good as I think it was that, or just watch my screen and and uh, see what's going on there. Um, but it might be a performance problem or other kind of problem because it will be two streams at once. But let's see. Watch your internet. Mm, well, it should be more than enough. It's more performance. So, internet, I have um, 50 Mbit. Um, and upload like 10. So, it's that is definitely not the bottleneck. Who's your favorite to win the turn? My favorite what? Pardon? Who's your favorite team to win the turn? Um, I didn't even check the teams completely because I don't really even know most of the people. Uh, so Tokita and H Z uh, H H Z H. Holy shit! In in English, that's so ugly to pronounce. Um, <laughs> um, that's they are strong. That's definitely a strong team. Bloody and Stubbs. I think that's interesting. I don't know how uh, Stubbs really much, but that's probably yeah one of my favorites. Slow is always Slow is always a favorite of mine. Um, and Ipsa, I don't know Ipsan. So Econop and Freshy, yeah. Oh, right here, no. Self and Voodoo. Send. It, it's probably bloodier or slower. Mm. Wha what's yours? Um, personally, I was thinking Ajax and his brother because they were really strong in the last Oh, that's his brother. So that's interesting. That, that gives them a bonus, a huge brother bonus. Yeah. yeah. They had the maps really well practiced last time and. Uh, yeah, I think they're a favorite. Also, bloody. Oh, you mean the favorites? I thought you just mean who I, I like most. I think uh, if it goes simply by by skill, I can't really judge it that good because I don't know too many of the people. Um, yeah, I don't know the the um, the weaker players of most teams. I only know the stronger ones. I just know Tokito and uh, and H Z A H. They are probably also pretty strong. Um. <coughs> okay, let's, let's take 
taking a few more minutes before we can watch it. I can probably organize my screen. <laughs> There we go. <coughs> yeah, and uh, I'm I also have to apologize to everyone because I'm coughing sometimes. I'm s a bit sick. Um, all right, uh, we should probably start casting, right? Yeah. So okay. <laughs> How do you even cast? I guess we uh, can say something about the players. Do you do you know this? Uh, the uh, who is it? Nexus and Jagged. Yeah, yeah that's Nexus and Jagged. All right. Solid ladder, ladder players. Uh, they're both a bit better than me. Uh, right. oh, that's, about that's more than solid. Fifty to hundred points. Um, yeah, they're actually pretty good as long as they don't do something stupid. So yeah, they could be a pretty strong team. Uh, who are they going up against? Bloody and Stubbs. Um, yeah, I, think I, I, I know Bloody, obviously. I don't really know Stubbs too much. Do uh, I think Stubbs is a regular team game player for most of the random team games that get hosted, you know, the Wonders and that. Yeah, um, and I know him in the sense I did play with him, but I don't really know how strong he is. Um, but if he plays with Bloody, he can't, he can't be too strong by definition of the ratings. Yeah. Uh, so that's going to be quite interesting, right? Because it's two medium skilled players, uh, or, yeah. or, or you, you can even call them good, but compared to Bloody at least as medium skill, and one good and one not so great player. So um, in factions, maybe we have Jacked, Appliance, yeah. as Seraphim uh, in this dark red color, Nexus of Reality going with UEF. And Stubbs going Zeraphim as well, oh interesting, and Bloody also going UEF, so middle of factions here, Zeraphim in the corners and UEF in the center. Yeah, that's pretty interesting, I think we're going to see a uh, few T2 gun comms, I'm pretty sure Nexus will go that. Yeah, so, uh, generally on the next 10 maps in 2 versus 2, yeah. upgraded commanders are really strong, Tech 2 and Gun is both really good, and um, well if you get both at once then it's much better. <laughs> then it's even better than each of the single upgrades combined. Um, both together is even another boost to the power of it. So um, I would not be too surprised to see upgrades from as a team. I'm mean, just curious if it's going to be Tech 2 or Gun or both. And well, then Jagged usually goes as uh, Cybran, so the fact that he's going Seraphim means that he's probably got something planned. Yeah, I mean he's walking with his commander quite early to the expansion, so I think he wants to deny that from Bloody as long yeah, as Bloody possible. Bloody also starts to move right now. Uh, let's see, <laughs> one he will be there in one minute and jacked. Yeah, uh, it's going to be fairly similar. So going to be interesting where the other ICU moves because you can obviously go to your own expansion and play it more like two one versus ones, but you can. You can go to three different sides. You can push through the middle with the other ACU, and then you can come behind. Uh, like he could go through the middle and catch Bloodier and corner him. Uh, that would be possible, or he could just straight up walk to the other side. So there are a lot of things possible if you manage to get your ACU in a place where your opponents don't predict it. Uh, some raiding going on here, and why defended by Bloodier, most likely. Unless there's going to be some really good micro. He's trying. Bloody is also microing, however. So, first little encounter with um, a lot of APM and Wisma from both players. Bloody are barely winning. Barely? Is that how you <laughs> pronounce it? Uh, more like bar barely? <laughs> I can't speak English. I'm sorry. Yes, I. Okay, well we've got some air on the field from Nexus. Strange has only gone interceptors though, as far as I can see. Um, no, this has guards. And is, it, is there two NTCs here? Is the quality not great with the screen share? Um, well, the screen's a bit small anyway. Oh, uh, you can max you make can out the... You I can make out the uh, dark blue. You can make it big. It took me yeah. a while to figure that out as well. Yeah, you can. Uh, uh. Y you can just uh, maximize the Skype window. 
or somehow, I'm not exactly sure how I'm doing it, but um, I also have a problem and at some point I figured out that you can actually make it big. And yeah, the dark blue is, uh, <laughs> even for me, with the full screen, it's kind of an issue. Um, um, yeah, I can't figure out how to do that. Alright. It no. doesn't matter anyway. Yeah, um, usually you should just be able to maximize the Skype screen, the window. Oh, I have done. And then you can but hide the... Uh, chat thingy or something? Oh, yeah, here, here's this button. You see this? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. That, that was really <laughs> invisible. Okay. <laughs> and then you have it full screen. Alright, back to the game. Jack the Plank, quite some pressure on Brody having apparently significantly more units and using them to his advantage while Brody are... Oh, both are actually upgrading now. So it seems like Jack gun is getting the better of Brody here. Oh, yeah, you, you can tell me. And um, Stubbs is going gun as well. So, uh, both are going gun? Mm -hmm. Well, and three players are. Yes, three players are. And the fourth one? The fourth one isn't doing anything. That might might lead to a disadvantage. He that is one hell of a mess still. Doesn't have too much power as well for his own upgrade, so that's... That might become a problem for him. Uh, however, on the other side, Bloody is really in, in trouble, actually, because... Um, he oh he didn't lose this so uh, this tank stopped here yeah, I would expect them to go and raid the back but Jack Jack the appliance is playing it carefully wanting more units with his commander because he knows that if he does get this or not it doesn't really matter so much as long as he is able to hold this expansion that he already got his foot on and bloody maybe thought he can he can take it back with gun. Mm -hmm. And apparently he's taking energy from his ally, so maybe they plan to do gun first for him, and then... Yeah, I'm surprised uh, yeah, he Jagger didn't really get his so second Hydra, if that would provide this a one? nice power yeah, boost for cheap. It takes so long to build it, and uh, I, I guess it's possible to build this before you make the upgrade, but then you have to build it with the ACO. Um, and it's kind of risky, right, because if you take too long to take it, then maybe you will lose it. But yeah, he... He should stop building power because that's not a good idea while upgrading gun. Then building yeah, power will just will just slow the gun down because the pigeon costs how much? 750 and <coughs> it takes too long to generate this power back. So building power while making gun is actually just delaying the gun and not speeding it up as you might think. Um, and now he's done just in time and say they started at the same timing but it was almost really bad because of this power star that he would have taken too long and then he would ta take a lot of free damage from Bloodier. Fortunately that didn't happen and now both have gun and half heads. And Jack still has more units, so he should be able to defend this position if he's not too afraid. It looks like he's he's really careful at the moment. While on the other side now Stubbs is starting to push with his gun and because Nexus shared his power to his teammate while Stubbs and Bloodier both did own guns so now he doesn't really have an answer to this gun except a small amount of tech 1 units more probably not even maybe and well, I'd say Stubbs has more uh, T1 at the minute that's probably fairly equal um, maybe a slightly more yes but yeah, he he didn't really <laughs> prepare too well for <laughs> his own side. He shared gun to his teammate, but um, maybe didn't build enough energy as well, and then shared it away. So actually, both players kind of had energy trouble hurting them, and then um, and then now they slowly make up for it and start to build their energy, but. This was the time they needed to hold the expansions. Stubbs now going really aggressive with his gun and Nexus for reality deciding to go all in with his units. Maybe thinking that he won't get a better chance because he will just slowly bleed out against the gun. Going all in with a shift G move to get a better pass finding on his units. And going really aggressive looks like. He is winning the unit battle but there's still a gun ACU left against the normal ACU. Meanwhile, on the right side, 
Jack the plants and Gloria also still shooting at each other with guns sometimes losing some units and quite interesting that Nexus of Reality is now retreating as commander and sending the units in but, but not enough units left to kill stuff so this attack was probably quite unsuccessful because Stubbs can now secure this huge reclaim field with his SEU. Even yeah. so, it gave Nexus of Reality some time to push Tech 2. So yeah. now he does actually have an answer to the gun commander, and maybe he, this attack was just aimed to uh, delay the gun from pushing him too much. Yeah. That's so what I was thinking as well. Um, we but have actually had a, a one victory right now, a uh, slow. And gently versus Yorick and Morax, Zlow won. And Takito and HZH won against uh, Jason and the All right. Irish block. Yeah, that's play fast. And yeah, some en engagement going on at the same time. Uh, so much is happening, I can't talk so fast. <laughs> uh, looks like the South team, the Bloody Other team, is managing to get air control, but. As there is not much focus on air, just one air factory per player, I don't expect them to be able to use it too much unless they make a switch and focus more on air, but as things are going quite well for both teams, also Bloodier is, looks like he has a better SEU micro, he's managing to keep his units out of range and getting free kills with his SEU, with object SEU able to do the same, so can actually compare the kills. Bloody has 40 kills on his SEU and Jack has only 12. So, um, Jack was in a better position in the beginning, but really had just executed this gun SEO much more efficient, and that allowed him to gather it. Even now, with this better play, he's only in a somewhat even position. He's not uh, ahead, but he... Actually, he won Tech 2, and Jack also won Tech 2, so no advantage there, there. But he did manage to come back from his disadvantage with superior skill. Yeah, sorry, I've, I've been um, filling in scores for the past Yeah, that's alright. Uh, <coughs> is that a T2 PD? Yeah, these are, uh, there are two Tech 2 point defenses here. Another one is almost finished. That but it doesn't look like it forward. can get quite done now, that's unfortunate. And Nexus of Reality is just 70% on his gun. This point defense is keeping him alive. Right? He should be able to finish his gun, but... Um, He's he lost a lot of uh, mass and... Yeah, he lost a lot too. of units and he... Uh, this gives time. Stubbs is at the moment reclaiming everything. Even so, he's reclaiming mostly the trees instead of the mass. So maybe Nexus of Reality is getting enough uh, time. So that he will be able to fight back for the reclaim. And his gun is finished now. He lost a lot of HP to the Zuis. But Stubbs also is not too healthy because he's constantly fighting and constantly uh, under attack from all that units Nexus is spamming. Right side is fairly <laughs> quiet at the moment and I'm thankful for that because I can't cover both sides unless uh, maybe split screen but even then. Middle is super quiet. South team is uh, just too busy to, to care about it. Oh now Bloody well, is not speak busy the devil. anymore. Yeah, <laughs> Bloody is uh, now finding some time to to care about the middle and this is uh, not just a few units that would be required. This is uh, quite a small army and that could cause some more problem if it does not stop in the middle. <coughs> but meantime on the right side, oh no, Nexus on reality is also going tech 2, uh, not too sure about this because he already got tech 2 engines and he doesn't really have mass to... Um, I think that's probably for the HP. To uh, yeah, but he he's al he almost got a veterancy and now the problem is I think that's actually a pretty bad move because he needs the SU to secure the reclaim. This reclaim is still on the field. And um, also he needs to fight for the side and if he takes the time now to go attack too. And it's also taking a long time because he's stalling mass really, really badly. So yeah, if he paused all his factories he could probably do it. But yeah, so maybe and, and not build this point defense. But it's pr pre probably better to build the point defense and then try to take over the side. Because as long as he lets Stubbs have the side, as harder it will get. To push him I away. Think Stubbs is going an upgrade as well. Yeah, but Stubbs is also getting tech two now, and um, he already have s has three veterans here, while Nexus has zero. So his ACU is could much more powerful. That actually work in his favor though, because um, it means that um, Nexus has more instant heals to get while fighting. Yeah, that's maybe, but um, 
if both SEOs have tech 2, then they are probably not going to kill each other. Because they will regen so much and they will build point defense, so it's it will be more a slow um, a slow fight with with constant with constant shooting than all in pushes. Meanwhile on the right side the, the ACUs are still standing against each other, shooting at each other, but not really doing too much, but they are being very happy having his side in Jack the Plans not being too happy, but there's not too much he can do about it. And he's trying to push maybe bloody away, now being forced to retreat with some of his units to handle this unit that came from the middle. And now starting to get the raid going to the backside. Interestingly, uh, no one actually stops is the only one that could have taken the side, the left hill, but he didn't do that. While Jack the Blinds did get his side and get got the three mass extractors, which does help him a little bit against the superior economy from Bloody Well it's still uh, three versus eight, so that's well Yeah, seven it's still not so really a good situation and then maybe mm. even worse is the difference in SUs uh, since Bloody had such a good micro also has three veterancies and um now he doesn't have tech 2, that's uh, Sparky on the field now from Bloody, starting to secure this position even more and then uh, slowly grinding into Jack the Blind's army and base. And since Jack the Blind's ACU is so much more, uh, less, has so much more less hulls than Bloody, he can't be too aggressive. He can't really go for an oil push, and that's what he would need to do because if he waits too long, then he will just slowly get the tower creeped from the point defense and the same thing could happen on the left side, even so looks like Nexus of Reality had some advantage here in timing and his point defense is finished while Stubbs point defense is still building and now Stubbs is having an unfortunate uh, army formation exposing his flank and already l losing a lot of his units that he's trying uh, while he's trying to finish the point defense and his ACU can't take part in the fight. Yeah, it's that pill as I uh, see on the field for Nexus. Nexus, uh, Nexus ACU is shooting all the time and also his units are managed, uh, managed quite well, so this is probably the best thing that can happen to him and uh, very well placed overcharge on the point defense. So. Oh, that's a TML from Jagged. If you'd look at it, it's going towards Bloody's base. Oh, here yeah, it is. I found it, but Bloody already got TMD. Eh? And. So just in time, yeah, maybe he's got call? it the TML, I can't even see the TML. Oh, here it is, okay, yeah, trying, should probably, it's a good idea, oh no, he's up, uh, he's shooting this now, he's shooting attack one mouse extractor, oh no, he shoots the point defense, never mind, I'm I totally take that back, I was going to complain that that's not worth it, because that's, there's some attack order here, that's probably queued up. Yeah, that's still yeah, not a good idea. TML, that's, that's still not uh, a good idea to waste the TML for Tech 1 Mass Extractor, but it's a very good idea to TML as a point defense. Meanwhile, on the left side, Nexus did a really, really good job. In where we talked about how he had a really troubling position with his Tech 2 upgrade, but he managed to come back from it, and he's actually. Um, there's a game stop there from. Why is he stopping? He, he's actually. Putting some serious threat here to Stubbs with having a lot of uh, units, tech two units as well, with the gun ACU having almost full health again from the veterans that he got, as you talked about, that this few veterans might actually give him an advantage because he can still get them, but still got the third one. And he is 15,000 HP, so uh, uh, while uh, and tech two and gun, so that's not easy to kill the few pillars and ACU that would have been enough against an un unupgraded and unrated ACU easily uh, having a really hard time now to kill this ACU but for some reason Stubbs doesn't have any units left uh, he upgraded a lot of the two factories and some I'd shows. say he's trying to produce so much that he's not producing anything yeah probably he's also building a tech 2 pigeon at the moment <laughs> even so he has a lot of power and he's stalling mass badly and uh, he probably also had all this mass so he was used to having it yeah and now suddenly it all broke apart and um, then he has to micro as you at the same time but he is doing a good job at it he managed to kill all the units and 
Nexus SU alone is not really enough to kill him. And, well, I don't uh, know, there's a big health difference there. I mean, uh, it's, uh, yeah, but it's still 7000 HP and other units are there. But yeah, maybe he could try. But then there would be room for some bloody as also coming to aid now with some units. Uh, he um, should probably push his advantage more because then he can at least force him to send his units in and overcharge them. And um, do the same because right now what he. Uh, he did is he lost a lot of units for pretty much nothing because his ACU will just regen and he could force at least steps and bloody to also lose some units in return um, but at least he got his side his expansion and that's throwing the north team back into the game because uh, it was looking really bad losing both expansions and uh, the left expansion is also really secure there are a lot of point defenses here the, the health advantage is actually <laughs> He considered to move his SEO away, but he is realizing that he can't really do that without losing this newly gained advantage again. Mm. You know, left side is pretty relatively quiet, constant skirmishes going on, but not too much. Some point defense is coming up now, so the battle lines start to be more limited and where they can move and why not. Uh, mobile missile launch is also coming up as answer and TMD as answer to that so we so, uh, this front develops into a more static situation where the player with more mass income should be able to have the lead because it's even harder to get it uh, to make up for master friends in a tower battle than with units where you can maybe ha have some superior movement. Yeah, well, Bloody has also uh, got the middle at the minute, so between that expansion and the um, right side one, I'd say he's got quite the advantage over Jack. Yeah, and then, uh, he has all oh, these numbers are not too accurate, unfortunately, but so the difference Gee. is much bigger. This is actually saying it's the same, so th that's not possible. Uh, and Bloody uh, is. Reclaim. Yeah, uh, it must be reclaimed. <coughs> Bray also has his backside, while the top team backside is. Uh, raided and a big push coming in from Gloria now who has so many units that he doesn't need them anymore on the right side and he is able to uh, withdraw not some but a lot of those units that's a huge army with a lot of tech 2 tanks and, and Nexus of Reality is now sending his ACU I, I'm not sure about that he should probably send units and he should have done that earlier because uh, yeah, I think they only just spotted it when uh, Jagged flew his air over. Yeah, there's probably some lack of radar coverage in the middle of scouting. Yeah. So this is uh, this big attack that w would have been really troubling, even when seen in time. But uh, now it came as total surprise and such a huge army of surprise in your base. That, uh, that's not going to end well, but it's actually uh, somehow Nexus of Reality was able to put enough resistance that Blodia decided that it's a better idea to retreat, he would not want to lose this army and give it as reclaim, but now he's going to lose it anyway because Jack the Appliance, ACU, is cutting the way of the retreat pass and uh, he should be able to wipe out this army fairly easy. The question is if he can do something on the other side with his ACU, but looks like he's in the middle of an upgrade, so uh, unless he wants to cancel it. And even if he cancels it, probably already quite late because Jack the Plains SEO is already moving back. Is, oh, is he not? He should actually kill this unit. He's allowing them to retreat. Even so, he was in the perfect position to stop it. Thinking about running into his base, probably with his SEO, but I'm not sure if that could work. Even so, he could probably take over the middle and then try to force Polonius SEO as well to come to the middle and then having the position already and then he won't lose anything on the other side but if Bloody starts to push his base instead with his upgraded commander once it's done so it's going to be hard to stop or maybe almost impossible because he can't possibly have enough units without his ACU against a veteran C3 gun tech 2 ACU with unit support yeah, that would be uh, quite difficult to stop. What's uh, Stubbs up to at the minute? I mean, he's been quite quiet for the past. Yeah, Stu uh, Stubbs is building well. some uh, army of Ilchis and getting some defensive point defenses. 
<laughs> oh, <well. laughs> Point defenses are kind of always defensive by f definition, but these are especially defensive. Another one coming up right now. Seems like he is totally content in giving uh, this expansion up. Yeah. And um, just let Blodia do his job and uh, use his advantage. Even so, he's s losing some of that advantage right now in the middle as. Uh, ha kind of happened what we talked about. Oh, bloody made the TML up, right? Let's see where, where that is aiming. Um, Probably for Nexus's base. Yeah, and Does he have some T2P gems? So he's starting one right now and starting a TNT at the same time. Too late a little bit. He could probably He's also having a tech 2 edge HQ and that's that's where the TML that's was heading. That's, that's actually ha this Maybe the HQ was already damaged from the attack earlier, or it had to be two rockets. But in any case, it's dead. But he managed to get the NG out at least and building the TMD now. Looks like he's stalling mass really badly because he's stacking forever. Shouldn't take so long with many NGs. But this move to go into the middle was really good because now he forced Bodia's ACU to the middle as well. And that means that he is not under threat on the right side. And he can maybe even apply some pressure on the right side now if he starts to mess enough mobile missile launches to go through the TMDs. It's not quite enough yet, he would need two more or something like this and he would need to focus the TMD first. <coughs> and we Nexus of Reality... We achieve a similar effect with some, um, with some stealth and some artillery perhaps. And that yeah, might be a... one art? Yeah. That would yeah. be a... Well, he, he, uh, oh, you mean a, st a static stealth fields and RT? Well, mobile stealth. Um, As Seraphim? Oh, <laughs> I thought it was Cyber. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, with small stats, uh, it could work to some degree. Mm. He can also just, if Bloody's army is out of position, and he actually has a bigger army, he has Ilchis. I say, oh no, most of it is in the center, but if he has this Ilchis in similar numbers, then he can also just push in the deck 2 point defenses are not such big of a threat if you have so much deck 1 RT, they die really fast. But for some reason, Bloody is actually thinking he might be able to attack now because checked moved all his Ilchis to the center, but this looks like a not too well informed decision because there's still a huge army here from Jack Alliance, mostly Zuis, so if he keeps moving they won't hit too much, but at the same time there's an attack going on in the center, Jack Alliance thinking he got a huge army here and maybe be able to do something with it, but but he also uh, isn't weak on the land force and now stops is sending his, by now that what he was doing and he is still doing it building up a huge Ilshi army and um, also Nexus of Reality, d wha what is this? He made a shield upgrade, so his ACU is, you now all of these ACUs are really really powerful with Tag 2 and gun and a lot of vitamins here, but he just brought it to a new level, adding in the shield on top here and uh, he is planning to go really aggressive with his shield, knowing what he can do. And uh, this Ilshi army is going to, has to be really careful because it's going to be cut off from the left side being trapped in bloody space. Not a bad place to be trapped, especially since bloody just went tech 3 and is able to uh, brought a demolition on the field so he can shoot this huge army now from a distance and uh, decimate it slowly. But the question is if he's going to get so much time because Dub's ACU is late to the party and this party is going to place uh, right now. Uh, well, everyone is starting to move in front of Bloody Space, uh, bringing the units as well. But being in a fortunate position with his right army that he can defend and move to the center at the same time. So this army could be a bit late, but with this two ACUs here, especially the shield one, tha that's a really interesting move and I like it a lot. The demolishers of Bloody are not helping too much as I hear, even Persis wouldn't do much as they can be easily overcharged. So this tax 3 seems to be not even the best choice here against the ACUs. Would have been great in this static battle that took place a while ago, but this is a whole new differential uh, situation. And now just a huge engagement going on, now, I think. I'm not sure if he can do this. Yeah, 8 FPS. Um, <laughs> that's what I mean, the Skype screen share and everything is, uh, is a bit much, but oh look at this glowing SEO, that's beautiful. 
It looks like a ghost rampaging through the army. And looking at the situation, what happened? Looks like most of the units from the North team died, and Jack the Plains is losing health rapidly. When Axis the Plains they ignored the him, the shield as you not shielding your ally, and uh, Jack the Plains went down while Bloody and Stubbs being still very healthy. And it looked like the something happened in this huge engagement, and uh, um, the South team just had more units left in the end. Well, now you've got um, the South team being out of units because of the explosion from Jagged. Yeah, I even though there weren't many units left, and yeah. the reinforcements, there aren't too many units coming ba uh, coming as reinforcement as a. Uh, so, Jack. Is that a TML? At point blank range from Lodi? Oh, yeah, may, uh, he, that would be to uh, that would to be expected that he's using his TML and he maybe he hits a TML and maybe uh, there were some other kind of micro mistakes. I think the players went a bit impatient. Nexus of Reality should have been in the front and, and shoot from range, yeah. and uh, Jack the Plains should have stand behind him being protected, and uh, then they will just try to slowly push this carefully. They, uh, they probably went a bit too greedy, and Nexus of Reality also. Shooting bloody most of the time, obviously can't decide too much because he has to keep moving. But looks like the shield's down now as well. I mean yeah, the shield is uh, down. He will probably go down to, to uh, go down soon too because it's just a bit yeah, too much against two right. ACUs damage. May he can probably take steps with him if he keeps shooting at him, but that's not going to help against bloody. And bloody is living up to his rating here, uh, being the only player left in the end that's surviving this huge battle. But this was certainly a really good stand from the top uh, both North players. Um, and this was looking really scary for Bloody at some point with this shield ACU. Uh, uh, in uh, the end it was just probably not enough units or not well use of the units. Maybe some uh, overcharges happened. And other things happened, units died, ACU died. But in the end, <laughs> Bloody wins, stops as well, even so he's dead. And, uh, they move on to round two. And they move on to round two. So... <coughs> well, casting is uh, exhausting, <laughs> 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 but I'm, I'm trying. Mm. Um so how how is uh is anyone still playing? Uh well we've just started round two and uh wait now.